No home for many in Milford. The city council looking for answers to more than one question surrounding homelessness. Good evening, I'm Charlie Sakaitis. Welcome to News at 11. We begin tonight focused on the homeless in one of Delmarva's cities. Homelessness has been an ongoing struggle for people in Milford. Of course, the unhoused themselves face enormous struggles, but it also presents a problem for law enforcement who have to ensure that those without homes aren't trespassing on other people's property. As Coast TV News reporter Brendan Conroy shows us, despite this hard to solve problem, people without homes are still keeping their heads held high. On benches, beneath trees, and in cars. That's what some people in Milford call their bedroom. The plight of the homeless drawing, at times, both empathy and concern. For some of the people that live in Milford and the businesses that operate there, it has become a problem that requires police attention. Um, and we will enforce those laws and work with property owners and businesses and communities. Chief Cecilia Ash is very clear, though. The Milford Police Department protects everyone, no matter their economic status. It's important that we as a police department remain apolitical. Um, our job is to provide public safety to all. That includes uh, the houseless community. Living through homelessness is often transient. Isaiah Hicks and his wife have to find a different place to sleep every night. I don't feel like I'm getting teary-eyed because what I think about you just makes me sad. But I just like to say to everybody out there that's dealing with that situation, don't give up. While addressing the city council Monday night, Chief Ash did see some reason for optimism. We communicate effectively and efficiently. Um, we can address uh, these issues. Also Hoping the conversation surrounding the homeless can move away from what to do about these people and towards how can they be helped. Although homelessness is a rather large problem in Milford, it's the never give up factor that makes the people in this city so special. In Milford, Brendan Conroy, Coast TV News.